immediate dismissal from the range. There is absolutely no handling of firearms outside of the range. Mm -hmm. One stop too. I'm welcome to. That's cool. I'm yeah. totally open to that. Okay. So whenever you're, are you right-handed, sure? Right-handed. Okay. Yes. Are you right eye dominant? My left is weaker than my right eye. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, most likely, what you want to go do is make sure you're presenting and, and looking at that front of your right eye and not your left eye. Okay. You have to squint or close your left eye to do it's totally okay. Right. Uh, so right-handed shooter. Are you right-handed as well? So. This is a good setup, especially when you're putting the gun in because it's a lot easier for you to pick up off the bench or, you know, whatever. If it was situated like this and you try to pick it up with your right hand, you got to come underneath like that. And it's a little awkward. So whenever you set it down, that's the safest way to do it. Whenever you pick it up or when you're coming out of the holster or anything like that, you want to make sure this hand is as high up in there as possible. Um, if there's a right here, it's going to feel like there's a little more recoil than there is because that reciprocating mass of the side. So you really want to try and get as, as high in there as you can. On this firearm, you've got a thumb safety. So if this is up, you can't rack your slide and you also can't pull the trigger. Okay, so if, the, if you go out there and you know what's happening, then just double check your thumb safety, make sure that that's down. Um, when you're building your support hand, what you want to do is make a flat palm like this, go and sweep your knuckles so that you land under the trigger guard here and then wrap your fingers around and your palm is gonna take up all this open space right here, okay? okay? Just like that. And then this thumb is gonna to wanna to hang out somewhere around here. The way that we do that is maintaining surface contact with the, with the pistol and free. Um, so whenever this gun's going off, this slide is gonna be reciprocating like that. So that's why we don't we make sure our thumb's not back here because if that reciprocates over your thumb, it's gonna cut you. Mm. Wow. Probably pretty bad too, so. <laughs> Keep all the blood off the range and in your body, so make sure that both thumbs stay on the right. side of the gun. All right. Perfect. Um, whenever you're ready to load, you can go ahead and insert that magazine. Give it a tap to make sure it's seated, because if it's not, and you go to put the gun up, it's just going to fall out. Mm. So go ahead and give it a tap, and then you come over top and make a C grip like this. And all these serrations back here, you just want to stay behind that ejection port, and then go ahead and pull with this hand, push with the other one until you hit metal on metal, and just like Elsa teaches us, let it go, all right? Now you've got one in the chamber, all right? That's how you know it's clear. That's how you know it's clear is when it locks back like that. Um, and if you ever have any question, let's say that you approach a gun and it's in this condition right here, the first thing I always do is come up, make sure I know if there's a round in the chamber or not, so I'll I'll, you know, either see grip and pull this back a little bit or with 1911s, you kind of, well, sorry, don't do that. <laughs> That's just, uh, it's a bad habit to get into. Anyway, um, so yeah, I always make sure I can identify whether that firearm's clear or not. And then whenever you're done, this is your slide catch. That's going to go up when you have an empty magazine. Um, but if you want to make sure that this is locked back just for your own safety and, and uh, your own understanding, then you're going to be pushing up on this as you pull this back and it's going to catch on that right there. Oh, I see All right. Thank you, sir. So there you go. Right. Definitely classes you can take here. Is it like an intro to like intro to pistol? Yeah. Your safety card for USPSA and that will get you like an introduction understanding of how to shoot that competition. And there's like NRA. Yeah, so there's NRA action pistol matches, which are static. Uh, you don't need to during those, which is a lot safer. Right? Uh, and so there's a, there's a bunch of different options.
Oh, if you want to pull it. Wow. You gave him the dome shots, though? Perfectly, actually. Awesome, man. Glad to hear you. <laughs> this is in remnants of uh, Call of Duty zombies. zombies. <laughs> Clamp and racket. Oh, she went too far back. But. Got seven bullets. Right. Now you can open it a little bit to see if one is in there. By your thumb, oh. that button. So you use your thumb and hold it straight up. Okay.
slide joint. That's it, baby. That's one? Yeah. The one in front, that one. Then you gotta slowly rack it to feel it in there. So what do you think? It's good. It feels good. I mean, that I think got some kick to it. Oh yeah. This one. Is it too much gun for you? I like. It. I don't when know. When I get mine, I can get this one, and you can get like two joint. No, I can't. Do it's that. just. Look at that. Look at the second go round. Well, isn't the helmet bulletproof? You didn't kill nothing. It's, it's not. You're definitely shooting through the helmet. That's not a thing. Yeah. I this like head. Well, yeah. I tell you one thing, the more you do it, if you don't know, anticipate the recoil, but... Yeah, I'm about it after, because we're not going to hear it anyway. Oh. <laughs> 